Oh, well, I guess it is what it is. And I'm just going to have to go ahead and use the bow gun with no specialist. I mean, it's not like I'm really at any real lack of status usage, as you'll soon see. But, uh, it would help just a, a little bit. I think I'm going to get some honey. Wait, do I even have busy bees? No. I think I needed a cactus flower. And then we'll just do storm senders. And actually, that'll work out nicely. In the end, once it comes to actually util utilizing those fertilizers. So. Okay. Let me switch over. Now this set is fun. Let's take a look at this. This took a lot of work for just like one seventh of the the, uh, the gauntlet. All right, so I have the Blood Guilty Maw, which required a fearsome Maw from the Giganox, which was like impossible to get. It was like so hard. And then just the Poison Stinger Frame and Fenacross Barrel. I also needed a Diabolus Cap, which required another Majestic Horn, which took a lot of work, a lot of extra work. And then I already had these other things. It's not a big deal. Uh, but in general, what this gives us is a really decent Pierce bow gun. Uh, we have five Pierce 1 shots, a fairly decent assortment of pellet shots, and then just like a ton of poison and uh, adequate amount of paralysis. Not to mention some pretty decent explosive shots as well. The crag shots and the cluster shots will both be somewhat helpful in doing some extra damage. One thing I have to try to remember right now is to grab the talismans from my Blade Master set. The charms. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I was having a tough time deciding. I think if I put away the trap tools, that would just be better. Right? then I'm not as cramped. This way I can very reliably create all the ammunition I need. So I have all five books. That's probably overkill, but not for the large barrel bomb pluses. They need all the health they can get. And I can kind of fit them, sort of. In any case, I have Trap Master, Earplugs, Pierce 1, Pierce Boost. So I should be pretty safe. Pretty safe. Okay, and a slight mistake I made before that I will not make again is if you have as little space as I do, is make sure to take your rations first. Otherwise, you'll be forced to give something up that you probably don't want to give up. Although I did make sure to include room for cool drinks. I do not have room for a map. So, that's okay. And I think we'll still try to get our bombs off first. Uh, we'll do one round of poison with poison level one. And go forward from there. I think we'll do some cra we'll do paralysis after poison and we'll get crag shots off on the face. I should probably load up. Pretty good idea. I don't know if he can... Like, doesn't sense me at all. No. <laughs> that was necessary. <laughs> That's exactly how I had it planned. In the very beginning. I would blow myself up. With a large barrel bomb plus. Oops, wrong button. I was going to wake Cha-Cha up. Looks like he woke up on his own. Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about setting up another trap for Burgon here. The reload time is pretty atrocious. It's alright. Uh, 
Always keep an eye on where the ammo is that you're going to be using next. It takes a lot of paralysis to actually get paralyzed. It's pretty intense, actually. And we get two shots of this. We get both shots in the face. And I don't know if a knockout is possible. But I'd certainly like to see if it is. Oops. <laughs> and that last shot uh, stunned him out of a screen. That's nice. Oops. Completely missed. It's okay. At the very least, this will be adding plenty of exhaust damage to him. You'll get two more off. Yes! It is entirely possible <laughs> through crag shots alone. <laughs> and it looks like we actually broke his face off, right? Did I just do that? I just did that. really cool. I didn't even use any large barrel bombs. I just used fish. Alright, I'm fairly certain another paralysis is not possible. So I'm not even going to try. Careful, we don't want the tail and or the bombs to hit us. He's out of his poison state, so we can go back to it. Just gotta wait for him to initiate some sort of attack. Good. Okay. Oh wow, he's already poisoned again. But not like other monsters, his poison resistance stays pretty low uh, between applications. Okay, we're going to try and get him with something like this. Uh, I don't know if he's close enough to those bombs for me to hit him. I think he kind of was. I'm just hitting him with exhaust shots for the hell of it now. I want to hit him with more poison shots. Although I should probably hit him with those uh, poison knives. So that's like free poison damage. I think I missed two of them at least. It's kind of a shame. I was kind of hoping to blind him and not myself with that. I was already poisoned again. Although I still have plenty of cluster shots that I, I think I'm going to wait to use until he's exhausted. He's 
hardy week. What time are we at? Like eight minutes? That's intense. I kind of don't want to capture him. I kind of want to kill him. Let's uh, set up one more trap. That's that. It's like a full kill in like nine minutes. Under nine minutes. That's really fun. And a chin break. I mean, all through crag shots too. Like you can get a full... A full KO out of it. I did not know that. I guess that's the power of crag shot level three. It's really quite decent. I think we've gone through enough dental hygiene. I mean, this is a decent enough set for basically anyone. I mean, poison's good on just about everything. I mean, it's not really good, but I mean, it's extra damage that isn't going to be done anyways. And pure shots are pretty much as powerful as you can get. And the addition of earplugs makes it so that you're really not all that vulnerable to most monsters. I'm just gonna sell this hunter's knife. Okay, so that's pretty much it for Uragon. Uh, look forward to next time. It's either going to be a Monster Hunter Portable 3rd update or the Agnactor tutorial, or Gauntlet that is. Uh, all kind of depends on how fast FedEx